What is truth? This is the question that Pilate asked Jesus when he was brought to him in John 18 and verse 38. Throughout the ages, people have searched for and inquired about truth. Truth is that which is right, that which can be believed and accepted. And the Bible helps define truth for us. Jesus told his disciples, I am the way, the truth, and the life, John 14 and verse 6. But we see some irony in Pilate's question. He asked what was truth, while he had the one who was the embodiment of truth standing before him. Before this question, Jesus told Pilate, For this I have come into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice, John 18 and verse 37. Notice in each of these verses the singular nature of truth. It is the truth. There is only one truth, not different truths for different people, places, or times. The Word of God is that truth. Jesus prayed to the Father, Sanctify them in the truth. Your Word is truth. John 17:17. 17, 17. The psalmist wrote, The sum of your Word is truth. In Psalm 119 and verse 160. And God has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. 2 Peter 1 and verse 3. Regarding things that fall into this category, we can only go to Christ and to his word to find the truth. And anything that conflicts with truth is a lie, according to Paul in 2 Thessalonians 2, verses 10 and 11. Those who contradict God are described as liars in Romans 3 and verse 4. And anything contrary to the word of God is error, 1 John 4 and verse 6. Friends, what this means is there is no gray area when it comes to God's word. When God's word tells us something, that is the truth, and it must be believed. But does truth change over time? Many people believe that it does. One can look at many of the different religious groups that we see in the world today who believe this. Over the years, many of these groups have changed on their stances on various issues depending upon public opinion. We've seen changes in the teaching on marriage and divorce, on homosexuality, on drinking alcohol, and other issues. But we should not be interested in what many, even the majority, believe. What we should be interested in is what the Bible teaches. Remember how the truth is defined in Scripture. Jesus and the Word of God... Jesus does not change. He is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13 and verse 8. The word of God does not change, rather it endures forever, as Peter tells us in 1 Peter 1 and verse 25. We notice the words of the psalmist, the sum of your word is truth. And the second part of that verse says, and every one of your righteous ordinances is everlasting. Friends, truth does not change. Whether it is on the subject of divorce and remarriage, whether it's on homosexuality, or whether it's on any other subject, we have no option but to accept the truth of God's word. But how should we value this truth? Well, the wise man Solomon said, buy the truth and sell it not. Get wisdom and instruction and understanding, Proverbs 23, 23. Here we're advised to buy the truth because of the value of the truth. From truth we get wisdom and understanding which are better than gold and silver and jewels, Proverbs 3, verses 13 through 15. And if wisdom and understanding are of more value than these, then that which produces wisdom and understanding are more value than these as well. As truth is defined in Scripture as Christ and the Word of God, then we should value truth just as we value these. Peter described Jesus and his blood as precious in 1 Peter 2, verses 6 and 7. The psalmist said that the Word of God is more desirable than gold, yes, much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, and the drippings of the honeycomb, Psalm 19 and verse 10. Therefore, we should also value the truth more than anything that we might find in this world. Well, now we've seen what the truth is. We've seen how valuable the truth is. We must respond to the truth. By seeing the value of the truth, we must accept the truth. We must live by the truth. Now, we at times may have to stand in opposition to those that we love and respect, 
Sometimes we may face persecution because we strive to follow the truth, but we must not sell the truth. We must hold on to it, and we must practice it no matter the cost. Friends, there is no need to wonder what we need to do to be rewarded by God at judgment. God's word is the standard of judgment. Jesus said, He who rejects me and does not receive my sayings or my word has one who judges him. The word I spoke is what will judge him at the last day, John 12 and verse 48. Friends, this truth is not going to change. Jesus has told us what we need to know if we're going to be pleasing to him and if we're going to make it to heaven. Friends, we pray that you will consider these things that we have discussed today about the truth of God's word. And have a blessed day.